are in the shop of horrors, we got ourselves into some fun again today. Anyway, what we're trying to do here is install running boards on the van. And when we did a mock-up, holy God, they're almost dragging on the ground. It's, it's unreal. So anyway, uh, we are now in a process where my brother's over there. And what we're doing is we're adjusting all the brackets. We're cutting them and uh, bringing it up uh, two inches because uh, uh, it's just way too low. So anyway, I'll show you the parts here in the mock-up and uh, what we're into here. And uh, we'll kind of try and do a, uh, a timeline of uh, what we had to do. So anyway, uh, I'll show you what we've got here. Okay, here's the, the driver's side. And uh, when we put it in, it's very, very low. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the tops off all these brackets, the forward ones, and uh, we're going to reduce them by uh, one and three quarter inches. This one will have to be reduced one three quarter inches also. And as you can see, it's, uh, uh, it, it's got quite a bit of steel on it. So we will uh, cut it, reduce it, tack weld it, and then we will stick it up again to uh, see if that is more satisfactory. And we have to make sure that uh, things like the end caps and all this would go up against the body and uh, you know, and, and there's a taper to this body too. So it's uh, a lot of consideration. So anyway, here's all the parts that we're dealing with right here. So we have all kinds of stuff. It's unfortunate that uh, paid uh, almost $800 for uh, a set of running boards that, uh, well, I don't know who they're made for, but uh, to do any uh, camping with it, and you're going into areas that may have, uh, you know, maybe not the best uh, clearances, uh, you don't want these dragging on the ground. In a city environment for a work van, you know, where you're always dealing off of asphalt or curbs, or, and even curbs you'd have to watch on this stuff too, uh, uh, backing in or whatever. So anyway, these are, uh, uh, who makes these ones? These are Laverne. These are the Laverne, Laverne product. They are nice. They're aluminum. The brackets are steel, but they, uh, they need to be finessed to, uh, actually work. Anyway, we'll keep you, uh, Informed. Okay, so we've done our cutting and we're now in a situation where uh, we were reduced uh, the depth and we put a bolt in and uh, so now when this uh, goes up against the floor, the running boards, we can control the pitch on the outside and once we've established that and done the mock-up and we know it fits, then we can use this edge on the outside and this one to weld it and uh, good to go. And we don't know how the other side will be, but it'll probably be totally custom too. Uh, but you can see how much we've, uh, we've uh, lowered or actually raised it up. There they are there, and uh, that, that's how much we're going to gain. It's going to go tighter up against the body. So we'll show you what uh, happens in the end. Okay, so here's the last modification of these brackets. This will kind of give you an idea of what we had to do to them. All in total, we raised it uh, two and a quarter inches. And the one running board, we cut off, uh, oh yeah, at least 14 inches. And uh, yeah, there they are there. there. 
and now that'll all be welded up and as you can see there's a I guess uh, you call it a fillet in, in this area it's been ground so that uh, it'll fill with weld and uh, yeah how many hours you figure we got into this Randy oh, uh, no uh, let, let me rephrase it how many hours you figure you got into this <laughs> Long time, oh yeah, about eight hours, at least eight hours to do this. So, yeah, it's not just a, well, it is a bolt-on, but uh, if you want it done, you know, a little tighter, that's what it takes. This uh, still watching it. So. Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Uh, yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have to watch. Yeah, it's almost like uh, it's cooling off, eh? It, it, no, that's I'm losing losing voltage. Losing voltage, huh? Yeah, you can hear it, eh? Okay, so here, here's one of the brackets, and as you can see, we've uh, it, it's hard after we've adjusted the bracket to find the hole. So what we did, uh, what my brother did, was he welded the brackets on there, and uh, then he put the bolt through, and we've uh, rock guarded it to make it uh, more weatherproof. And now there's the original passenger or the driver's side, and when I go over here. We haven't got it on, but what we're going to do now is put it on because we, we want to make sure that we have the same uh, gaps and clearances and uh, all that on the, uh, on the passenger side. So we're going to install this one because there's nothing holding this back because that one was used to uh, make a template for the other uh, brackets which have been cut and uh, welded and uh, put together. So anyway, this is what we're looking at here. Here's the running board and as you can see, it's quite long. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this body line, this body line here, and we're going to cut that off and just have it uh, here. So anyway, we've got the first bracket on. It goes onto a body um, uh, support underneath. It's got the flat bracket on it, and it's spaced really well because it, uh, you can see it right there. It actually uh, supports the front door and the slider uh, pretty well. It, 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 all the contact is right there. So anyway, we're going to uh, put the other side in and then uh, modify this one, shorten it, and then tuck it up as much as we can, uh, consistent with the other side. So we will uh, let you know what it looks like here. So how are you doing guys? Anyway, here's an update on these uh, running boards. 
and uh, as you can see uh, they're all in now and uh, I don't know if you can tell by the uh, shot that I'm giving you there but there actually is one two three uh, of the supports right underneath the uh, the opening of this um, of this door which uh, gives you a very good uh, support and stability and uh, and we haven't had any issue with it deflecting um, and you know it, it's it'll be a matter of uh, just uh, going through it and, and seeing how things do work out but uh, the, the only other consideration here is uh, in putting them in and as I showed how uh, cutting them uh, shortening them actually lifted them up higher but what it does is in this area here typically I guess the reason there's a little bit lower um, is to kind of break up the ground clearance to the uh, the inside so that it's halfway which this is still pretty close but uh, uh, with that extra drop that they would normally have it would allow you to stick your foot in underneath in here uh, between the, the running board and this uh, body. So what this does is it technically shortens things up. And so when we get in, we're more inclined to not go in with our uh, the ball of our foot, but more the side. Because if you look, and I'll, I'll cut to a picture here in a bit uh, of how it looks from up above, uh, it, it does make a narrower profile, but still it accomplishes what you want. So anyway, uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll go around the van, show you what's going on, and then I'll go under the van and try and give you an idea of how it uh, ended up being put in. Now, as you can see, there's, there's not a lot of clearance here, so <laughs> I, will, I won't be going under the van, but uh, I've got someone who will. This is Dolly. Dolly, good old gal. Anyway, it's a motorized uh, uh, Dolly. And uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, shoot it underneath the van. We will have a look and uh, see how it turned out. And uh, I'm, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it. It does what we wanted it to. It's uh, because it's an open uh, grate type of uh, setup. Uh, snow doesn't build up on it. The solid running boards uh, could uh, do that and potentially create uh, either a ridge, which would, uh, you know, uh, uh, let you slide off them or whatever, but uh, this uh, is very aggressive like you couldn't be getting in and out of here uh, with your bare feet So anyway, uh, it does what we want and uh, anyway, why don't we go underneath and uh, have a look and uh, See how the installation went Okay guys, so uh, here we are under the van and uh, we have Dolly all set to go so uh, Let's have a look and uh, see if we can show you what uh, actually went on underneath here. So, and away we go. Okay, as you can see, there's the brackets. And uh, they're, they're simply uh, bolted in here, up against the, the, this main member here uh, of the body. And uh, it, it goes right along here. They're put in. And, uh, okay, I'm going to stop there because it looks like I'm getting close to the uh, resonator, so, yeah, as you can see, it goes right along, and, and they're simply attached to the uh, bottom of the floor, and, uh, and of course, it was uh, uh, an effort to get the pitch right after we shortened the brackets, and then, uh, as you saw, we put the bolt in, and, uh, it allowed us to uh, twist against the bolt and set the angle or the pitch that we wanted, and uh, that, that's how it, uh, it, it it ended up going in. So anyway, uh, hopefully that uh, kind of gives you an idea of what uh, we did. Uh, and there we are there. Okay guys, so uh, that's what I did. I'll uh, include a couple shots from up above. Overall, I'd have to say a 10 out of 10. They're aluminum and uh, they do a really good job. And uh, anyway, uh, 
hopefully you do them and have good luck installing yours.